नमस्कार मंडळी आय एम मनीषा केलकर आय एम एन ॲक्टर अँड अ रेस कार ड्रायव्हर माय टॉपिक टुडे इज अनरिअलिस्टिक ऑप्टिमिस्टिक हु ऑल युअर थिंक दिस इज अ नेगेटिव्ह टर्म प्लीज पुट युअर हँड्स अप ओके अँड द रेस्ट फील इज पॉझिटिव्ह फेअर अनफ आय विल टेल यू मोर अबाउट दिस ॲज वी प्रोसीड इन आर टॉक फॉर नाव लेट मी टेल यू अ ब्रीफ लाईफ जर्नी अबाउट माय सेल्फ ओके so born in a middle class family dad mr ram kelkar a writer mom was a classical dancer and my guru all they wanted me was to finish my education in whatever field i wanted to all i wanted was to be an air force pilot yes throughout my life this was my end goal you know an air force pilot i finished my education i was a very good student uh, while doing my 12th standard i was getting these forms entrance exams the medical entrance where i found out that women are not allowed to fly fighter jets boom shattered my all time dream my life dream was shattered it's been just 3 4 years now that women are allowed to fly fighter jets what do i do now i had no other plans for myself well the next best thing was cet the medical entrance test as we all know uh, 15 years back in india it was just science commerce or arts that you choose from <laughs> so i gave my entrance test i got medical i got uh, bharti vidyapeet as my college for dentistry but i thought to myself do i really want to do so hmm i don't want to waste a seat so that plan was chopped off next was my professors guided me to do microbiology well i finished my microbiology 3 years of it uh, post graduated uh, sorry graduated into microbiology it was brilliant learning new skills every day and uh, my professors were fantastic my college as you can see it's lovely sapai college and uh, after that the next step was of course doing a uh, internship into the tb institute the most reputed tb institute and research center in mumbai day in and day out as to get these slides and i had to check if it was tb positive or negative <laughs> the person i am you know the adrenaline rush i need the speed i need i was lacking that i was shivering what do i do with this this is not for me i knew it then what next my god i was clueless clueless you might be thinking why am i here standing into the ted talk when i am so clueless about life but yes this is what builds up the next best thing i did a rewind the complete rewind of my life what did i want from life as a child you know during the growing up years in school and college i was into all extracurricular activities i was dancing i was into dramatics i was you know into elocution competitions i was writing essays and i was loving every bit of it then i thought to myself why don't i approach it as a career and during my days uh, in microbiology i was making friends with these people in mass comm and film making in the same college so i thought let me give it a try there i was boom wow a entire new world exploded in front of me i was a protective child and here i was you know shooting into slums places which were not allowed to it was brilliant i was meeting variety of people it was just entertaining for me and so much to learn from there after that next step was i was assisting into one of the series uh indian series television and i get a call one day this gentleman calls me and tells me uh manisha i've seen you perform at your college fest uh, would you like to host the asian film festival awards held in india I'm like yes of course who would say no to this opportunity i was hosting it and i met some amazing filmmakers out there like majid majidi yash chopra ji it was fantastic fantastic and the same day itself <laughs> the same day itself we shantaram productions who was holding the entire show came to me and offered me a lead role in their film i couldn't say no i just couldn't say no back to back i was doing marathi hindi telugu films i was loving it performing you know different characters every day you know sitting at the narrations with the directors and the actors it was brilliant i was loving every bit of it then what was lacking what was it there's something inside my heart it was troubling me you know how 
ये दिल क्या होता है आप सब जानते हो इट वॉज दैट रश द एड्रनल एंड रश आई वॉज मिसिंग I grew up sitting in my dad's front seat holding on to the wheel and driving the car. Yes, since then I had the speed, love for the speed and adrenaline rush. That's why I wanted to be an Air Force pilot, I guess. I said I used to literally catch hold of people and ask them, "Please, please can you take me on one of these race cars on that track just once? Can you do that?" And I was throwing these you know uh, these wishes all there out at the universe and i think it hurt me it does it does dil se kuch chaho na to definitely hone wala hai definitely and i read there was an advertisement where there was this competition being held for amateur racers where they were going to test uh, women all across india of course i had to participate i did there were 900 women and uh, 12 were selected humbly yours i was one of them brilliant i was just enjoying thank you <laughs> it was awesome i was enjoying every bit of it and then these 12 ladies were trained hardcore training this was scary uh, i won't give you much details we don't have that much time but literally i thought as an actor i look fab you know like i'm fit and fine but literally in that car with those speeds my jaw used to get locked so i started training harder harder and uh, by end of the training session they chose six women to participate in the national level competition for formula 4 racing that's my darling car out there avalanche brilliant i was loving it um one season so in a year there's one season and four races i did my first race it was lovely i was getting in the groove with this is one of the sports where men and women participate together so we say once the helmet is on so we don't know if it's a girl or a guy and i was racing with the champions the amateurs it was a mixed batch wonderful so much to learn the second race i completed i was much better you know and the third race i was geared up my sir told me fazal sir come on you have to learn the cars the mechanics of it it's not just sitting behind the wheel i was doing all that i was in sync with my mechanics i was so grooved the next day morning i have to get up for my next third race brilliant i sat down in a car and my driver was taking me to the host- to uh, a hotel my driver took me to the hotel on the highway <clears throat> i met i i met with an accident like like i still shiver when i <clears throat> i talk about it i'm really sorry it was deadly i was rushed to the hospital my fourth fifth uh, vertebrae broken my uh, rib broken and the worst was my seat belt i was sitting behind the driver my seat belt went into me and uh, i it perforated my intestine doctor said we have to operate her right now otherwise it would be fatal completely fatal they rushed me into the icu i was operated uh, after 3 days i woke up with bad pain like and i couldn't move i thought to myself is this the worst phase of my life yeah i won't lie it was imagine a person who is so active want to do 100 things at a time and i couldn't move from my place after days i was taken home i couldn't even turn by myself but at that time my friends and family they were like angels to me they used to sit around on the bed with me we used to play you know board games we used to watch f1 races and lots of films doctors had told me 6 months 6 months bed rest i needed but i was recovering faster what was it what was the magic i was loving it i was recovering faster my physiotherapist really helped me uh previously i used to hold on to like 40 50 kg of weight and now i was holding on to like half a kg and it was difficult yes it was difficult people used to hold me and we used to walk from my bedroom to the bathroom it was that difficult but later on when i started taking that one step at a time like one step i felt powerful i didn't feel weak then because that was awesome i could walk by myself it was starting from zero again oh brilliant After six months, I got a call from the national level championship, Formula Four, and they asked me, "Manisha, are you ready for the next race?" Within yes, but I did not tell them one thing. I was suffering to a post-traumatic stress. What was that? 
whenever i sat into a car maybe any car or taxi or rickshaw and the car at the speed of 20 to 25 and a slightest of brake used to be like scary to me super scary the flashes of the accident it was madness as to just hold on to people next to me and as to shiver till the next break what do i tell them i did not they just said just come and try out do some trial sessions i like okay fine <laughs> i went to coin batur kari motor sports i did my first run i was like a bullock car on the track yeah everybody was just passing by zoom 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 and i was there shivering not even trying the slightest of breaks i came back everyone was laughing at me not their fault it is obvious because why someone like me on the track right now my sir was he's a brilliant guy he said okay just sit down relax enjoy the atmosphere talk to your people around i was doing so i was crying within crying within and then the next round i did a next round and i was bad So I said, "Okay, fine. Just try your brakes. Be slow on the track. It's fine. Just try your brakes." I was trying my brakes. It was just horrible. Next day, I come back to the track. The same thing is happening, dude. What is happening? Is life going to move ahead? On the fourth round, uh, the champions were out of the track. There were some amateur racers along me, along my side, and this one racer just nudged my car and went. I was angry. I was angry with myself, with the situation, with life, everything. And I was like, I'm going to get this one. Maybe I won't race in future, but I want to get this one. And I went rushing behind him, rushing behind him. I, he was faster. Of course, he was faster than me. And we somehow reached the pits back. I was, I was just given up. I was furious. I was sitting there, and my sir came with a laptop, and he showed me my timings. I was breaking at every curve. I was breaking at every corner, and I was throttling without fear. My goodness! So all that fear, the post-traumatic stress that my psychologist was trying to remove with whatever, it wasn't helping at all. What help was the race track? The race track. Damn! I loved it. My sir was like, "You're confident enough now. Please come for the next season." I was there. I enjoyed the whole season. I completed the whole season. That was an achievement for me. It was brilliant. Then there was no looking back. I was doing autocross races. I was winning them. I was doing gym khana races. I won them. Ah, <sighs> life was getting on the groove again. Now what is troubling me? Ye dil kya kare? Oh God! I was always, you know, when I was uh, not well and was on that bed watching these Formula One races. I used to talk to myself. Will I be able to go to one of these international race tracks? Those race tracks are brilliant. We've seen it on TV. I wanted to experience it. But would I? Uh, I used to say no. Maybe, maybe not. There was a competition held by Formula Woman UK McLaren GT Cup. My God, brilliant! I had to go for it. Around 22 countries. More than thousand women participants. Fifty were chosen, and I was one of them. I was loving it. <laughs> My goodness, I I was just it was unimaginable because the women I was racing with were mechanics from different countries. Some of them were training since the age of six. Where was I standing there? What got me there? What pushed me there? Now we come to. Like okay, before that, two days before. Okay, I, this is a new slide which I have added because it just I got a news two days before that the Nations Cup in Middle East has chosen me to participate and represent India in their race cup. Ah, <sighs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been the journey of my life till now. Coming back to the topic. unrealistic optimistic what is this now let me tell you so when i was talking to my psychologist uh she said manisha you're a very positive person great so you're optimistic brilliant but your dreams these are too unreal you know you need to just hold on what is what is happening with these dreams 
I just smiled at her and I said, maybe these dreams are unreal for you, for him, for her. But I have seen these dreams and I feel they are real. You know, many of my dreams, yes, have got true and life give, gives me so many surprises and I'm going through these dreams but as you've seen, some of the dreams have shattered, completely shattered and they will. It's practical, it's life. But what is left with you is, if one dream is shattered, you can see a new dream and start all over again. That's my time for you guys. Manisha Kelkar, signing off.